Welcome to Israel and the Holy Land. On this episode, we make it to Jerusalem and explore the fascinating four quarters of this city. We've arrived to Jerusalem. Jerusalem is considered by many to be the holiest city in the world. This is where three of the most popular religions originated. We are on the Mount of Olives. We are looking at Jerusalem. That's the Dome of the Rock. We're about to go into the old city. Jerusalem! We're in the Mount of Olives. We're on the Mount of Olives and we're looking at the panorama view of Jerusalem, old city, the four quarters. That's the Dome of the Rock right there with the fort. The with the yeah. Tons of tourists. Yeah. Check it out. Yeah, they all are. <laughs> If you want to ride the camel, we'll go there because they're going to be clear. Yeah, yeah, okay. This side, this side. I'm going to sorry. This is everything. Yeah. We on an ultra light beam. The next stop is the Gardens of Gethsemane, famous for being the spot where Jesus prayed before being crucified, and they also feature olive trees from the time of Christ. This is everything. We make oil for the church. Thank you. These are yeah. olive they trees are 800 years old. The Holy Ghost grew up went crazy for falling for okie dokes. Inside the church, they have the purple stained glass and the olive trees are right there. Right, what are we looking at? The Dome of the Rock and then the Ottoman 1500 walls there. They're built in Jerusalem stone. The old city of Jerusalem is surrounded by walls built in the 16th century. There are seven open gates and an eighth gate called the Golden Gate that is sealed shut. It has much significance to the Jewish people as it's the closest to the Temple Mount and the Jewish Messiah will pass through when he comes to rule. Jerusalem! Jerusalem is important to the Jewish faith because it is the biblical Zion, the city of David, yes, the David from David and Goliath, the site of the Solomon's Temple, and the eternal capital of the Israelite nation. This is Zion Gate. All the holes are from the 1948 independence, and we're going to go through here. Jerusalem is important to Christians because it is where Jesus spent the last days of his ministry and where the Last Supper occurred and the crucifixion and the resurrection. In fact, you can walk the same path as Jesus did during the crucifixion called Via De La Rosa, which leads you to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. is the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. This is where Jesus was buried and then laid to rest and then resurrected. So we're going inside now. This is the inside of the church. This is the area where Jesus was crucified. This is the spot right here. Everybody's touching it. There's a million people here. After visiting one of the holiest sites in the Christian faith, it was time to head to the Jewish quarter to visit the holiest site in the Jewish faith. The Western Wall. We have a lot of different types of people here today, including the Israeli army. Alright guys, I'm at the western wall. Women's side, men are on the other side. I'm gonna go get a closer look. 
The Western Wall is the only remaining relic of the Temple Mount, which was destroyed by the Romans. The Temple Mount is where God chose as his dwelling during the time of King David, and hence the reason why many people leave notes and prayers in the cracks of this sacred wall. Also something to note is just over that wall is the Muslim Quarter. Um, Jerusalem is very important to Muslims because it is where Prophet Muhammad ascended into heaven. Only Medina and Mecca are more sacred. One thing that was surprising during our trip is there was a dance party within the Western Wall. Someone had just completed writing the Torah and everyone was singing in celebration. Thank you.